when the family makes you to sleep in a stall with animals, beats you for any smallest infractions, then forces you to witness someone else's infant child, when you're just a kid yourself, if you can even imagine to be raped by different brothers of this family every night. You always want to slash your wrists, but you fear offending God. And the only thing, the only one who saves you from this hell on earth is the youngest son of this rich family, who sees past through dirt and misery, who sees you, who offers you kindness, and even love. You persecute me. You even dare persecute the man who sacrificed everything. His family, his birthright, his country, all to give me a new life. You judge me, but judging him, that's unconscionable. How long have you worked there? Maybe uh, five and a half years. There you go. I think it's time for a promotion. We talked about this before. I think I have to wait for the right time to talk to Mr. Ibrahim. Maybe uh, after the next account. You know, sometimes you take so long that I think you missed the opportunity. Maybe you just need to be more aggressive with Mr. Ibrahim. I am aggressive enough. I'm just looking out for you. Everything that I did was motivated by the desire to perform a charitable act for an impoverished family in my country. Don't you think that I could have hired a Mexican housekeeper in this country much easier? Really? For $30 a month? Right? How yeah. much did she say? Really? For $30 a month? My God, that's not very much, is it? Huh? Sorry, yes. Proceed. We paid Layla's family more than $30 a month. She's lying if she says otherwise. $30 is ridiculous. So, which niece is she? My sister, Sarah. That's not what the document says. Document? I found the contract between you and Layla's parents, and there is no Sarah's name on it. And since when do sisters have to write a contract, huh? Tell me! Okay. Sarah adopted her. She begged me to bring her here, just for a better life. And do your own children do chores? Some. Yeah. Such as? They had to do their schoolwork. Schoolwork is not a chore. For some it is. And what about the victim? What kind of chores did she have? Well, Layla cleaned our house and she prepared our meals. This is nothing more than American housekeepers would do. 